Hello everyone. Welcome to Hiran's Wow. In this video, I'm going to share about how did I learn to manage my salary and start saving a little bit. The first thing is live within what you earn. A saying that we kept hearing from generations yet still difficult to follow. It's not about how much you earn, but how much you keep and how hard you make it work for you and how many generations you keep it for. Robert Kiyosaki. Whether our income is a minimum wage salary or if we are making millions, what is most important is consistency and stability in life. It is important to understand our limitations and not go for just lavish or extravagant lifestyle that we cannot afford with our earnings. Financial independence is not just about making money, but also knowing ways to manage it better. My grandfather was an auditor and a man with great financial discipline. He always shared one thing with people. The one thing that he would advise anyone was to count your net salary less than 25% of your actual take home. That way, we plan our expenses and all the budgets according to that 75% which is left over and not spend it all or plan the entire 100% of our net or take home salary. This tip would be a very important and a useful one for beginners because whether you start with a 5, 10 or 20 or 25%, first thing is the attitude to save and then invest it elsewhere is important to begin with. And the second point is never borrow beyond your repayment capacity. Overburdening ourselves with financial commitments beyond our earning capacity kills the joy in earning and also in saving and investing that money. Money should be a means for our safety and security, but it should not destroy our peace of mind nor become a source of our happiness. Assessing your career plans before taking huge investments is quite crucial because once a commitment is made financially, it sticks. So it's important to know if this is what you intend to do for the next coming years as well, or are you planning for a shift in career or your domain? If we don't assess the length and also the severity of the financial commitment that we are making, we end up in a vicious cycle, which we will not find an exit to. Especially taking personal loans from financial institutions that are private is a definite watch out for because in this scenarios, the very few cases where they actually assess your financial status and provide you the loan. Rather, you're given loan even beyond your repayment capacity because they would want high interest rates and you are in desperate need for that money. So definitely checking in with ourselves if this is something we need right now and is it something which is not going to be a burden for us later on is important to assess before we make a certain decision. Mentioning about the don'ts, always try and identify things that give you happiness in the work you do. If you don't find it, it means that there is some piece of the puzzle that is missing. Being in a job or business that makes you happy and fuels your energy is very important. For some of us coming from different economical backgrounds, it might not always be possible to have the best work environment or our dream job itself. But having that long-term vision towards working our dream job or creating a happy workspace around us is going to be very motivating. In one of my previous videos, I've mentioned about a book called Ikigai. It's a Japanese secret to long and happy living. No matter what kind of a job or business we do, it is about finding our happiness and finding our ikigai. For knowing more about it, you can find the link in the description. Money should be a means to cater to our essentials and take care of our necessities, but it should never be means to our happiness. To summarize, the first and foremost thing is to assume that you have a net salary that is 25% lower than what you're currently earning and start saving it up to invest it right. The second thing is never borrow beyond your repayment capacity. And the third thing is do a job or business that fuels you and not just your bank. 
These were the few tips on how I manage my salary and plan my expenses. So hope some of these tips will be helpful for you and help you identify and manage your spend patterns better. Do subscribe for more content and thank you so much for watching Hiran's Wow. Bye for now. Thank you.